Hi, I'm Eli from SBC, Broad from SBC Network. I'm here with Miles and Nick, and we're going to talk about college football. Um, first, uh, what teams do you think are going to make it to the college football playoff this year? This year, I got to go with Clemson, Wisconsin, Alabama, and Georgia. A lot of people would expect me to pick Ohio State or Penn State over Wisconsin, but obviously Penn State lost Saquon Barkley and a lot of offensive talent along with Mike Gesicki, who's a great tight end. This team had a great offense last year, but I think this offense is going to fall off a little bit, and they have a decent defensive best. So I think this team probably sits where they were last year at about 11-2. and two. And this Wisconsin team is just great. Alex Hornibrook, obviously not a great quarterback, but a good quarterback who gets the job done. Jonathan Taylor rushed for 1,800 yards as a freshman and is one of the more elite running backs in college football. TJ Edwards is always a catalyst for their great Wisconsin defense, and their offensive line is absolutely dominant, so I've got to pick them to win the Big Ten. And Clemson obviously is returning a lot of talent as their entire defensive line, along with many of their linebackers and quarterbacks returning. The quarterback spot is a little weak, but they obviously do have the most talented and elite defensive line in college football. Trevor Lawrence, although he is a backup right now, is going to be a monster in college and the NFL. He's got all the pro intangibles you want. Travis Etienne obviously had 13 rushing touchdowns last year, and I think this Clemson team dominates ACC again and wins. Obviously, Alabama is sitting about where they were last year, maybe even better, because now they have a great quarterback in Tua Tagovailoa, who reminds me of a potentially better pro version of Tim Tebow. He's got all the intangibles you want. He's a great mobile quarterback. He had a great second half against Georgia. He doesn't feel any of the pressure. He's an extremely positive athlete. And this Georgia team, I've got to put in the playoffs this year, either an undefeated or one loss record, because this team come, returns a lot of talent, although they lost Nick Chubb and Sonny Michelle. This team recruited 12 five stars this year when it had the number one recruiting class in the nation. Jake Fromm is obviously a great quarterback with a great backup in Justin Fields. They've got DeAndre Swift, who is one of the more underrated great running backs in college football. They have a good enough defense who absolutely dominated last year, a good wide receiver going, a good offensive line. All right, what about you, Miles? Alabama, Clemson, uh, Stanford's number four, and Ohio State and Penn State. With he said, uh, Mike Kaseki, and was a great tight end, and Tracy McSorley is a, also a good quarterback, but I don't think he'll make it to the he'll make it to the pros, but not be the greatest quarterback. But also with with uh, all the competition in the Big Ten is really competitive. Okay. Um, do you have any sleeper teams that you think can do really well this season? I've got to go with the South Carolina Gamecocks. And in my opinion, no team has seen more improvement over the past two or three years than the South Carolina Gamecocks. Will Muschamp could be up for Coach of the Year this year. He brought this team from three and seven, from three and nine to six and seven in his first year, and a nine and four last year, finishing 18th in about two of the three polls. This team could lose about two or three games this year, but I think this team's got a shot at making the top 25, potentially top 15, and a New Year's Six Bowl. This team's got great offense with a great underrated quarterback in Jake Bentley, as well as Debo Samuel, who's one of the more explosive players on offense in the nation. They've got a good enough offensive line, better than it has been in past years, and their defense is extremely underrated in my opinion. What about you, Miles? Um, Duke. Do Blue Devils, but they're not going to make the big run, but if they make a tiny, like a, a slight improvement from last year, I would not be surprised because of Daniel Jones, the, the quarterback is really, really good in how he throws the ball and how his intangibles are really good. All right. Um, I think that will be it for the SBC broadcast on college football. Um, I'm with uh, Nick and Miles and... We're out.